friend Anna <laughs> and we're going on a flushing food crawl. Actually there's a place that has really good egg tarts. I think it's right over there, so we should go, go there and get an egg tart. Okay, let's go. Make sure we outside. get as little food as possible. So like one egg tart and we for split real. it. I realized signing up for this, I have to really just not be embarrassed. <laughs> so the first stop is getting an egg tart from New Flushing Bakery. Mmm, good. Does it taste fresh? Oh, wow, that is really good. Oh, it's really good, so good because the outside is really crispy and flaky, which I feel like is like the best type of egg tarts. Mm -hmm. And then it's warm, which might be because it's of how hot it is today or because they <laughs> keep it warm in there. Um, and the inside part is like very creamy. Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't know why. Hmm? why? I can't eat the last bite. That's disrespectful. Wow, actually wicked good. Okay, our next place that we're going to in English is called <laughs> NY Go Go Fast Food and the only characters I can read in the Chinese is Shao Chi. So um, we're going to that place and we're gonna get fun time! Yeah. So we got our fun time. I got a whole bunch of rice. Yeah. Right, now you go. Wait, why did you find more? So you can also eat the rice too. But I'm not the only one eating all the rice and getting full. Okay, then this is... Yeah. Cool. I also only got rice. Good. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna eat this part of the Go. I'm so supportive. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I also volunteer for St. Chinatown Love. They are a nonprofit organization that helps Chinatown businesses, especially during COVID when everything um, was shut down and they were getting a lot of foot traffic. So I do their Twitter. So for everyone that. go follow the Twitter. Can you link it? <laughs> yeah, we'll link it down below. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what's in it is like the green stuff is a pickled vegetables. So they're very pickled um, and they're really crunchy. <laughs> I really like eating them a lot. And then there's a yu tiao in the middle, which is kind of can see, like right there, mm. which is like a fried dough. That's also like crunchy, salty. And then the pork squash is like the most, like, I think, very salty. Yeah. The adam. Yeah. So very it really fits really well with like the rice. Because the rice obviously is just like rice, it's like plain. Yeah. All these flavors together just make it so it's a very like crunchy, crispy, salty, delicious, like savory snack. So that's everyone. This is Rian from Mamamoo, the K-pop group. She's my favorite K-pop girl group member. I love her voice. She's really pretty. I like her personality too. So if you stand Mamamoo, um, comment below and I uh, will link up. No, I feel like this is going to be out. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not full, but I feel like this is going to because there's so much rice on. Oh, this is stop number two. Oh my god, we're just like the fun bros right now. Yeah, I'll leave her handles below. <laughs> Everyone go follow her on Insta. It's okay. private, so I won't let you follow me, <laughs> but you can find it. <laughs> Wait, this is the last bite of... <laughs> you didn't see anything. This is like the last bite of the stuff. So you can have it. No. Have All right, we'll see you at our next stop. Hi guys. We are at our third place. Shanghai Yu Garden. Yay! Chinese is Shanghai Yu Garden. Yeah. Uh, we're here to get Anna's favorite pecking duck. Beijing <laughs> Kaoya. Bye. No, no, no. You go Beijing Kaoya. We got our Beijing Kaoya pecking duck. It's actually in this box, which is pretty interesting. So nice. Oh, and they have like an informational thing about it. Okay, pause it and read this. Um. Mm. <laughs> Keep it in. It's good. I want like five more of those. You want to taste them to bring home? That's such a good idea. <laughs> what do you mean? I forgot you could do that. Mmm, so good. Once again, as I'm saying all the time, Manhattan just doesn't have as much food. Mm. I think like there's only like one baking duck place in Chinatown, but it's like really expensive. Yeah. Well, this packaging is really nice. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Ni a little haul. Well, we're now at White Bear and we're getting some wontons with chili oil. Amazing. Oh. Man, I'm gonna take a pic. Should this be the thumbnail because it's oh, so sure. pretty? Okay. <laughs> Excited. Should we describe it first? What did we get? It's Swindon. wontons with chili oil, no? With chili oil, yeah. And like, I don't know, if you ever like Google flush and fruit crawl, like this is like always like one of the spots. Mm -hmm. So it should be pretty good. It looks wicked good and I really like chili oil so It also has the zha cai Oh the zha cai, right The, the pickled, pickled vegetables. vegetables Okay, okay. done. 
Well, I'll put a whole thing in my mouth. Dude, it's hot. Wait, it's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really hot. Mm. Wait, and I'm usually not a scallion person, mm. but I like how it adds like a slight crunch to it. Ernest Din is really good. Yeah. yeah. I like that it's like chewier. <laughs> wow. Good weather, good food. The company. The like, company. I was gonna finish with the plane. I didn't really like the skin. Like, I like mm -hmm. how different it is. Mm -hmm. It tastes homemade. Mm -hmm. So why we keep saying there is because me and Anna both live in Chinatown in Manhattan. And we decided to come to the Chinatown in Flushing to do a food crawl. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla and I also did a food crawl during the winter time here in New York. And it was snowing. But I was just like, it's fine. Like, <laughs> what's a little snow? What's and a little water gonna what's do? What's a little water gonna do? <laughs> So we ended up going there, but like a lot of places didn't have indoor dining or outdoor dining. So we were eating soup dumplings on the side of the street. In the <laughs> and like, cold. In the cold and like the Lower East Side. <laughs> Fun times with Anna. <laughs> Guys, so me and Anna are currently in Daiso. <laughs> Daiso is like this Japanese store that has, has like home goods and stuff like that. And it's like really cheap as well. Um, but they only have it in Flushing, I think. All right, and we're gonna show you some stickers. Some really cool stickers. <laughs> We are at the New York food court. Yeah, we came for a happy lemon, but I guess we'll check out these other restaurants There's as well. There's a lot well. of food. It's kind of unexpected. Okay, so we got our happy lemon order. Happy lemon. I got a mango lemon slushy. I got a lemon yakult with aloe. And the last time that I think either of us had happy lemon was in Shanghai because there's yeah. one in the mall next to the dorm we used to be in when we studied abroad at NYU in Shanghai. Yeah. Try to give the audience context. Um, but yeah, once again, they do not have this in Manhattan. Yeah. I'm gonna do a subtle Asian challenge where you're supposed to close your eyes and then shuffle someone shuffles the top oh so i'll do it for you yeah and then you try to yeah. okay focus. ready close your eyes okay okay go i can't hear a thing ah, wait, you have wait. to try harder oh wait was it too hard it's quite aggressive <laughs> caitlin okay i'm gonna fuck it up Like, okay, go. You're supposed to predict where it is. I am. <laughs> You're close. I got it. <laughs> it's like it's like lemon curds or something in it. Mm. That's sweet and sour. I like it. Mm. Both are good summertime drinks, I think. Yeah. Happy lemon. Yeah. Nice. Me and Anna have just arrived to Chung Chun rice hot dog they have like the korean corn dogs i think they're like the best in new york city including like manhattan too so we changed from the flushing chinatown to the flushing k town yeah we walked right. for 30 minutes with our drinks okay so we just got our corn dog which one did we get um we got the one that has like ramen on the top like on the outside um, we probably waited like, I don't know, like 15 minutes, like, yeah. so like, it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. And we put some cheddar cheese on it and some ketchup. Mmm, this is what's in the inside, it's a hot dog. It's just so crispy. It's like it's not even just the ramen crisp that are crispy, it's like the actual breading on the outside is so crispy. And I think it's because like they make it to order. Mm -hmm. So that's why it takes a long time because like individually frying it. I think this one is just like truly another level, right? Mm. Really crispy. I'm glad we had the ramen one. I think they didn't have that one last time. Mm -hmm. You can just look at that. It's so good. They still have water. Um, you know how I make it easier? Like, so you don't have oh the butt on the stick. You'll always be busy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if there's something you really want to do, you will make time for it. Because it's not about like busyness, I think. When people are like, oh, I'm busy, I can't do it. Even though I say that too, and we say that like just when we're talking, it actually is not true. It's more of just like, I haven't prioritized that thing in my life. 
FYI, Anna is my only food crawl buddy. She's really? my you're the only person I ever do food crawls with. Aww. Yay. It's like you don't eat with anyone else. <laughs> yeah, I just starve until oh I see you next time. Don't <laughs> go. <laughs> We're actually at Dongji Yunnan Guo Chao Mi right now. It's like noodles. Yeah. From the Yunnan province, so we're gonna try it right now. Yeah, all the food came out, and we'll do some. We'll put, we will put a video, maybe it'll be horizontal or, or something. Yeah. Like that anyways, um, it, it came out of this really beautiful fridge. With, like, Just imagine, you imagine, like plates of everything in there, like so pretty, so colorful. And we thought we would have like the time to like take photos of it, but then when the waitress came over and brought our soup, she immediately dumped everything in before we even had any time to take a photo of it. So it's like gone now. Oh my god. Mm. Mm, so soft. FYI, Anna is not the biggest fan of seafood. The background Yeah. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to try more seafood. Yeah. We got a side dish of chicken. You can try it. Mm. Okay, we also got these kebabs. Which one do you want? I'll pass it. Oh. So okay, we're both eating um, the beef kebab right now. <laughs> you know this pot is still steaming. I said we had to put it in one time. Yeah. <laughs> it's past in the past. Right when she looked at the eggs, I was like, oh, okay, just like the eggs. And when you <laughs> said it here, you're like, oh, oh. And I, and I was like, oh shit, here is not gonna really get her photo now. You thought it was just the eggs too, right? Just at first, but then she took up another one, and I was like, no, it's not really good. You're right, I feel so at peace right now. Bye. Bye for now. <laughs> we're at the park right next to the restaurant we were just at. Now we're gonna rank everything we ate today. Shit, we ate so much. <laughs> Instead of ranking, just like say your top three favorites. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, top three, top three. Okay, my number one is the mia, the noodles that we just had. I thought they were That's really okay. good. Like the soup was very warm and had good flavor. Mm -hmm. And then the noodles were really soft and all the little like things that were in it were also really delicious. It just made it, and like the skewers were wicked good too. Oh, those were good. So just like the whole meal was like really delicious and like like a good end. Yeah. Um, that's my number one. My number two is probably the Korean corn dogs. Even though I've had a few recently as they become more popular in New York, but I just feel like that one is just like clearly better than all the other ones. It's so crispy and like the sweet flavor, the saltiness, like it all makes it so well. And then the third one would be the egg cup. Yeah. So like I feel like that one really impressed me, and it yeah. was like really good. So good start, good end. I feel like very. Oh. Okay. My favorite are the wontons and chili oil. I don't know. I just feel like you can really taste that the skin is really homemade, and I feel like most of the time when you're getting wontons on the street, they don't really give you a lot of filling. Right. And these wontons, like if you were to eat it as a meal it would fill someone up like if they were just to get it. My second one was the Korean corn dog because <laughs> I really, really liked the ramen. Right. Like so it was just crispy. so crispy. Yeah, it was, it was And insane. even the yeah. under ramen yeah. Yeah, was also really crispy. Yeah. So for my third choice was the Peking duck buns because like I haven't had it in a long time. I feel like the ones we had here, the price was great and it was really good and comparable to the ones I've had before in China. So overall, really yummy day. We All we do was, do was eat. And spend money. All we do was eat and spend money the entire day. Okay, we're gonna plug all of Anna's <laughs> Send candles. Chinatown Love. Yeah, Follow send, send Chinatown Love on Twitter. Yeah, so, we'll plug that below. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for our next video. And let us know what's your favorite Chinatown food item in your Chinatown. Or if you've been to Flushing, let us know what other Flushing ones we should go to next. Yeah. Alright. Bye!